already know who would be on your screen. Lisi Riley, you're back into me, it's a, and we are back with another video. Today, I am talking about just a whole lot of things in my life that has changed and like, life has just been lifing for me right now. So it's just like, I don't know, it's just like kind of weird being back on camera actually doing a video because like I've just took a lot of time off and I've always been saying like, oh, like I'll come back. I don't know, I always say I'll come back. I don't know, it's just weird to finally feel like I'm in a creative space again. I'm happy about it, I'm excited about it, but it does give me a little bit of nerves, I can't lie, because it's just like, I feel like, I don't know, I'm learning and evolving as a woman, and it's like, so many, so many things have happened to me in the course of time since I left, and you guys see me move to Houston, it's just, oh my god, my life has just changed so much, and like right now I'm just focusing on me and just being a better me and being a better person, being a better woman, friend, family member. So it's just like, you know, I just feel like I'm in my new era. Like, as you can tell, I look different. Like, obviously, like, I got a chest tattoo. Like, I got a breast reduction. I got more tattoos on my arms. Like, I got a new hairstyle. Like, it's just, everything has changed. Like, I'm just coming back as a new woman to YouTube. So um, I just wanted to do a Q&A on my procedure and what I got done and who's my doctor and just going through all them questions that you guys are asking me on social media so I could just like put it in like one space so y'all don't have to just keep texting me and then y'all can just come to the video and see what I did, when I did it, how I did it, with who I did it with, like you feel me? And let's just um, jump right into it I guess. So the first question a lot of people have been asking me is what surgery did I get done? I got a uh, breast reduction and I got upper back lipo. So what does that mean if you don't know what that stuff is? Breast reduction, I was a size, uh, I could fit a triple D 40 and I could fit a, a H. So they would like, if I would go get my boobs measured at like a fancy bra boutique, they'll tell me like I'm a size H, but I could fit a, um, triple d40 from target so basically uh yeah i was really big like i just felt like my boobs were taking over my body and like you know without the help of my mom like i cannot thank her enough with this process and just being by my side the whole time i was able to get this procedure done so yeah that's just like uh, that's what happened like i have some footage of me like throughout the journey like i tried to like vlog certain I, I tried to do a full out vlog but it was just like so many i feel like barriers in a way of me completing a full vlog for you guys but at least having like some footage that you guys could see from like my surgery journey but um yeah at the time of getting it i just like wasn't in a creative space to pick up the camera and like i was trying to do it but i just felt like at that time i just wasn't my full me and i just tapped out of my creative space so it just hindered me from doing a full vlog but now that i understand the problem and can tackle it i'm like in a way better space now to vlog and be on camera and share my life with you guys and that's just something i really want to do like you know what i'm saying like that makes me happy that brings me my little joy so yeah so um and um back in february i went to go get a consultation about the breast reduction so like just check it out see like what they could do for me see what my insurance options are if i have to pay out of pocket if i don't have to pay out of pocket what type of doctor i'll be having what kind of work do they want to do on my breast reduction when i inquired about the breast reduction i did not inquire about lipo that was my doctor's idea and i just want to give a shout out to my doctor um dr jason weisler he's like the best doctor ever he's so sweet and like he just made my process so much easier. I got my surgery done at Greenberg Cosmetics in Long Island, New York. My surgery was at St. Joseph's Hospital, which is a private Catholic hospital. Hence me saying like I wanted to vlog, but it was certain barriers where I couldn't vlog. So the hospital that I had my procedure at, um, it's no cameras, no cell phones, no recording, no pictures, because it's a private Catholic hospital. So I, I really couldn't like, I don't know. I couldn't vlog to the best of my ability. I feel like certain clips I was trying to like sneak in, like, oh, I can put this in a video. But it was just like hard. It was just so nerve wracking on me that I just didn't want to do it at all. If I had to like, you know, go through all that, I'd just rather just be like relaxed. Like I'm about to have like a life changing procedure. So right now I'm in my pre-surgical room. I have the IV in. 
I'm at my nurse. I got some medications. I got the plushie my boyfriend gave me. My mom's coming up. I'm trying to hurry up. And that's my mom. I'm vlogging. That's my mom, y'all. <laughs> I never thought I would get a breast reduction. I inquired about it when I was 18 with my um, pediatrician. Yes, I had my pediatrician since I was 18. Please do not judge me. She was my doctor since I was a baby. So that was like my mother. So I was like, not trying to let go. I had inquired about it when I was like 17, 18. My doctor, she did not want me to get the breast reduction so soon because I was so young and I had more growing to do, which was completely understandable. So like after that, I kind of forgot about it. Like I never thought about getting it. Like it wasn't on my mind. When I like spoke to my mom and she's like, dude, how do you feel about getting a breast reduction? Because I feel as if your uh, boobs are like taking up most of your body. And I was like, I was kind of on the fence about it, but what I, what I had to realize is that if this is something that I want for myself, I can't do it because my mom wants me to do it. I can't do it because like I'm anybody else wants me to do it. I have to do it because this is what makes me happy and this is my decision and it's my body. So after inquiring, going to my consultation, um, Dr. Weisler, he recommended that I do um, lipo because I did have like a flap under my armpit. I'm still recovering. I'm just a, a, a week and a half. Tuesday makes two weeks, so it's, it's a quick process, like it's a quick bounce back, but it was hard, but like, yeah, I still have stitches under my armpit, so it was hard for me to like raise that. I can't do that right now. He suctioned the fat out of my armpit to uh like get that fat out, and then he did like the back where like there could be rolls and stuff like that. Where, well, I did have rolls, so he did that. So back on track, so I went to the consultation. I, I, he told me what he planned on doing like with the uh, lipo and the breast reduction. And I went to my coordinator and she like just gave me the prices and stuff and just let us know about the insurance options. So thank God, shout out to you, mommy. She's a healthcare worker. So she got that good, good insurance girl. Yes, my mom got that good insurance. So when my doctor seen what insurance my mom had, he was like, oh, she gonna get approved. Like flying colors, like ain't no problem, period. My insurance ended up approving the breast reduction, but the, the lipo, they, they wasn't going to, like, that's not a part. I would have to pay out of pocket for the lipo or whatever. So I was like, okay. My mom's like, who about to? Getting cosmetic surgery in Long Island, New York is so expensive. Like, the Miami prices are different, but I'm just so happy that I got it done at home because, like, it looks good and I didn't have to, like, travel. And it was like my coordinator, my doctor, they were just, they were so helpful, like, it was so helpful like it was so easy like doing this process i ended up getting approved for my surgery like uh i want to say the like a month later a month later from february i got approved for my surgery so like in mid-march late march i got approved and then they scheduled my surgery for may 16th so um basically you just have to stop smoking y'all know i like to do a little here and there, whatever so yeah i had to stop smoking stop drinking stop vaping vaping i quit with flying colors like that was nothing to me and i don't plan on going back to vaping it's just really not good for you like i do a hookah when i go to the club or something but the vaping like it had to stop and like i tried to like pick it up like, I think a week after my consultation and he told me to stop and I got so dizzy and I was like, I'm good off of it. Like, I'm done. Like, I don't need that. I just basically, I started going to the gym, like, before my procedure. Like, a little bit before my procedure. Like, I didn't go to the gym a month before. I'm not going to even lie to y'all. Like, I was like, damn, my surgery in, like, um 20 days. I need to go to the gym. So, I started going to the gym, man, late in my journey. But that is, it, man, listen, my body's still like that. I just had so much love and support around me, like my mom, my grandma, my dad, um, my coworkers were really supportive. Um, my, I don't even know what to like. My boyfriend at the time, my my the my my partner at the time was just uh, very supportive and like. Yeah, I mean, it's hard for me to talk about the experience because I'm like, I'm still learning to be a new woman. And it's like, it's something changes that's happened since the surgery. So I'm just trying to like figure out how to word everything properly and like, you know, just be at peace with myself and like be happy. But like, yeah, my boyfriend at the time, he was very helpful with my surgery. He was there by my side the whole time. He was there every day. He spent the night with me. I broke down so many times and he was just by my side. And I can't like, 
I can't thank him enough for just being the man that he is to sit up there and be by my side, being that I'm so emotional and just, uh, just all over the place. He was just very patient with me. And like now in time, I've learned to appreciate that and appreciate people like that and just be so blessed and thankful to have people like that in my circle and in my life. So that's, you know, that's that. Oh my God, I don't want to cry. Like I really don't want to cry. But I just want to be as honest and vulnerable with y'all now that I'm back and it's a new journey and I'm just trying to start a, start fresh, like not start from scratch. Cause I don't like starting from scratch means you're down to you, nothing, you're all. I want to start over. So this is just me and my new era starting over. So I'm just, you know, being very meticulous with the words that I say and like how I say things and just not overstepping those boundaries with people in my life. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I had my surgery May 16th at St. Joseph's Hospital and the procedure was went so well. Oh my God, when I tell y'all that anesthesia, that I don't even know how, anesthesia? Anesthesia, is it anesthesia or anesthesia? I don't know. Y'all don't make, y'all know I don't know how to pronounce certain stuff. But yeah, my anesthesiologist came in. I met her before the surgery. Um, my nurse, I met her. My doctor came in and I just like, we ran down everything that we're doing. And my doctor low key low threw that light bulb in there. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they was like, that is not one there. And he was like, all right, what we're going to do? And he's like, she was like, um, the lady that came in before, she was like, well, she has to sign off on that. And like, he just threw it in there. Like, I love my doctor. Like, he really... He gave me a gift with that light bulb because of like he I ain't pay out of pocket for nothing, y'all. I ain't pay for nothing. I didn't pay for anything. So I'm so blessed. Like I'm so freaking blessed. I got light bulb and didn't have to freaking pay for it. Like I'm so blessed. Oh my god. Um my surgery was like at like six eight. Um I had to be at the hospital at 6 a.m. My surgery was scheduled for 7.30 a.m. So we was running a little bit off track, but I walked into my surgery. I didn't get wheeled into there. I walked and like, like I said, I met my anesthesiologist before and like, she just told me everything that we're gonna do. And I went under the anesthesia child when I woke up. It was so hard for me to freaking get up. Like, it was so hard for me to wake up. Like I fell asleep so many times. I was throwing up from the anesthesia. I was just like a mess. I got my period right after surgery. Thank God my nurse was like an angel. Like she was so sweet. She was so helpful. She was just making me feel comfortable. Like she was just such a nice lady. Cause usually people try to rush you out the hospital. Like after you have a cosmetic procedure because it's just like, you know, but she just took her time with me and she was just so sweet. And I, I loved my nurse. She was just a very nice lady. Yeah, I just had so much support around me, like my mom, everybody, like I said. It was just like, oh my God, the process, it hurt so bad. Like, I just feel like cosmetic surgery was not for me. Like, those six days were so rough. It hurt so bad. Like, okay, so I'm back. Um, This is the first day pre-op. Um, I'm laying in bed right now. You can see my boobs are super small. Um. I've been taking my medication. My pain is like five. Don't mind that. That's my mom in the background. But my boyfriend just left to go to work. <clears throat> he should be coming back tonight. Update about how my surgery went. So I ended my surgery yesterday at 11.30. I didn't wake up from the anesthesia until 5.30. So my parents were like panicking. And then also I got my period after surgery. But um, I feel fine. My crimps are not as bad as they usually are. But um, yeah, I just had breakfast. I walked around a little bit. Had to like massage my legs and stuff and exercise them. But I will be going to the doctor today to get my bandages off. Hopefully, um, they're supposed to be calling me back. I think my doctor has another surgery today. So we'll see. But um, I'll keep you guys updated. And yeah, I'll try to vlog as much as I can, but I'm just in like pain. So it's hard for me to hold the camera up and like vlog and stuff. But as soon as I get better, I'll like answer questions about pre-op and my healing and stuff like that. But as far as today, I am okay. I'll see you guys soon. I couldn't 
I couldn't change my my hair myself. I couldn't shower myself. I couldn't feed myself. I couldn't use the bathroom by myself. Like it was just oh my goodness. I I had to needed help to get up. Like I cried so many times. It was just the pain, the pain, the pain, the pain. Like I don't know how. Shout out to the girlies that go back for round two because me, I can't do it. Mm -mm, it's not for me. I'm just so happy with the results. And I'm just so like, I don't know. I'm so happy right now. I'm just worried. I feel like me getting a breast reduction, like, well, that's me able to, being able to like start fresh. Like, start, you know, start fresh. Like, be a, be a new me. Be a new person. Be a new woman. Like, walk in my faith. And like, right now where I'm at with it is just like walking in faith and being confident and being just naturally and unapologetically me and just putting my full trust in God and like bettering my relationship with God like yeah girl I'm gonna still go to the club and get it popping with my friends and, and, and uh, but I'm still a woman of God like I'm still walking in my faith and I'm just putting my full trust in him and just allowing him to work on me and work in me and I don't want to work ahead of him I don't want to work behind him but I want to be exactly where he wants me to be and I'm going to keep saying that until I instill that in my head I don't want to work in front of him you hear me but I don't want to work behind him but I want to be just where he wants me to be and I can't rush time like God doesn't see time like God is not afraid to start over so I can't just rush I can't Rush the process. I just gotta be patient and just let him let him work. Like let him work. I'm just I'm so happy. Um, let me do a little stand up so I can show y'all. So I wore no bra just for the video, but I promise I'm gonna put it on. So this is what I look like. This is my size. I went down to a size like C full, kind of on a um small D side. You see when I turn around, my back. I don't got any more rolls or anything like that. Like you know, let me see if y'all can see it, but. This is me. This is me, child. I don't even got that little line on my, like, girl. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, so that should answer y'all questions. So just to run down, who's my doctor? Jason Weisler, Dr. Jason Weisler. Where did I get my surgery? Greenberg's Cosmetic Surgery in Long Island, New York. I went to their Whitberry location. How long did it take me for me to recover? I had my surgery May 16th and Today's like what, May 27th, May 26th? Y'all see I'm up and moving, so. Oh, also, y'all was asking me about my hair because y'all know when I came back on Instagram, I popped back out with their hair. Like, um, this um company was from Amazon, but um, this is a 32 inch. K Ash on the um, install, Kayla. I'll, I'll drop her Instagram on the side, somewhere on the screen. But make sure y'all go check my girl out. We go way back. My girl slay my hair, like, period. I will be going back for my reinstall and the next install and the install after that. Um, I'll drop the link of the Amazon wig below so y'all could check that out. I paid, like, 200 something for this. And it's a it's thick. Like, it's full. She said that she ain't had no problems customizing this. Like, it, it, did, it did what it was supposed to do. Like, so, yeah. I know this video is short, but I just wanted to make it short and sweet. I have so much more in store, so much more vlogs. Um, just getting into my lifestyle girl ever on here. So just um be on the watch for that. And I'm just happy to be back. I'm happy to be like me again. I don't know. Just thank God that I'm here and I love y'all. And I just thank y'all for watching me and sticking with me and like remembering that I'm here. I love y'all. I thank y'all for supporting me and watching me and like just instilling in me like get back on youtube get back on youtube like i love that so much i love y'all and this is my goodbye this is see y'all later and i will see y'all in the next video Mwah.